Hi guys, um, welcome to the masterclass. Uh, my name is Donna Wright and I'm a lecturer in design. Um, basically, I'm going to do a few things in this class. Um, the first thing I wanted to do was to talk to you about a couple of courses that may be of interest that I actually course lead. Um, so I lead the year zero, we call it the year zero, but for um, formality, it is optional integrated foundation entry creative programs. Okay, so we kind of add a year onto the foundation degrees in order to support students that mightn't have the skills or um, or might just need that, that confidence building. Okay, so what we do is we have courses, creative makeup, foundation degree, we have visual merchandising and promotional design, we have digital imaging and photography, graphic design, fashion and textiles, move and image. And that is, um, that's what we run the year zeros for, for all of those courses. So basically, um, what you do is you come to us, you have um, a portfolio of evidence, creative work. We interview you. There are entry requirements as well, which will be a level two qualification um, in a creative um, area or five GCSEs, including another creative um, GCSE in there. But I am here to basically guide students, prospective students, because um, sometimes, depending on your um, experience and your portfolio, we can also accept you on those. So what I would say to you is to give us, give me an email. If you're interested in the course at all, give me an email and then I will get back to you and give you some career guidance. The other course that I course lead is Foundation Art and Design. Foundation Diploma and Art and Design, it's a level three qualification. Um, and both of both qualifications, they're there to get you into university level of study. Um, and, and that's what we do. So what I wanted to do today is I've given you, um, there's a class, I've got a short film on proportions of the face, which we would teach students at different levels. Um, and what I've done is I've kind of turned it into a little illustration at the end. So it is self-explanatory and that is going to play. And then what I'm going to do when you come back, I'm going to talk you all the way through um, a typical assignment that we set. Okay, so can we play the film?
will come back. So that gives you a small snippet, and I mean a very, very tiny, small snippet of what we actually do with you. Um, so you are, you know, you've got that many different specialist staff that work on the programs. Um, you know, you, you, you've got all of their input. So you on the year zero will produce um, various different assignments, um, photography, makeup, VM, um, fashion, creative makeup, I've just said, um, media. So you work with each specialist staff to produce them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, just, just one um, specialist assignment that was created last year. Um, and it was based on nature. So I'm just going to flick through that. It just gives you an idea of what the students do. Obviously, we do um, lots of different types of drawing, but most of the course is design based. So you need to know the design um, process in order to create your assignments. So it makes more sense for me to flick through an assignment and show you an assignment in order for you to understand what would be um, expected from you. So this is a year zero option, optional integrated design program um, brief, and it's a one based on nature. So we'll just flick through it. Obviously, we've got nice front cover, um, an introduction as to what the student is doing. We find that um, annotation is very, very important. You have to talk us through the project as you're doing it, and you have to be critical, and you have to be self-reflective, and you also have to give yourself a pat on the back when you do things well. So we work in sketchbooks. This is a sketchbook, and we start off generally on design projects with mind maps, and then we go on to research, and this has got quite a lot of research in it, OK, so you can see the mind map is looking at nature and all the different elements of nature. And then we start visualising what nature looks like. So that's what this assignment is doing now. Nature's all around us. And we're looking at lots of different things, trees, the weather, colours, all kinds of different things to kind of get an, a, an idea of where we're going with this. OK, we've got animals and reptiles and birds and all sorts of different things so now we're looking at um we're looking at fish and rainbows all sorts of things visualizing everything as you go and um, students will normally as you can see on here because the annotations are there are telling you exactly what they're doing and then as we start getting into the assignment then um you'll start seeing the thought process by each individual student OK, lots of different kind of elements. We encourage students to experiment with um, different techniques as well. So here you can see some frottage. That's literally just rubbings. Students have been doing it from barks on the tree that again links with nature. So this is quite a tactile sketchbook, as you can see. Yeah, we encourage lots of drawing. You know, th this is actually, you, you won't understand where this is going yet, but it's actually a fashion assignment, um, which hasn't gone into fashion yet because we're too busy looking at what the topic of the um, of the assignment is. Before we get there, we're exploring, we're experimenting before we get to, um, before we get to concept design. Okay, again, lots of drawings, there's pressed flowers, starting looking at fashion inspired garments and things like that now which is lovely more pressed flowers this is really deep in research this one so we can probably flick through a little bit quicker okay so we've gone on to bees whoops <laughs> Okay, so the main focus after all of that research, the student has decided that she wants to look at bees and, and, and the elements of what bees give, hives and honeycomb and all that kind of things. So as you can see, she's looked at hexagonal, hexagonal prisms. This has actually now moved on to a mood board, okay, which will be the start of um, the actual design process. She's looked at fabric concepts, what she's going to be, design and with and now we move on to fashion concept designs so we call these rough designs we do loads of these rough designs before we actually get to a final outcome okay so this is student just working out what she's going to be doing with that fabric 
designing around the bees, taking the colours, looking at um, fabrics to um, reflect her topic. And then what we do is we choose one. So basically what we've done here is, um, well, what the student has done, she's bought different fabrics to do this assignment in. And then these are actually concept designs as well. So it's experimentation and concept designs worked onto a stand, onto a tailor's dummy. So she's still now working out what she's going to do, um, you know, working from the concept designs. And then what we do is we get to a final design. We're still experimenting, lots of experimentation. I'm sorry, experimentation spelt wrong. <laughs> And then we get to a final design. So this is actually done on 3D. Now that this was an assignment that was actually done, um, it was done in lockdown last year. So um, normally we would be doing more illustration around this, but we simply kind of had to tailor the assignment a little bit. And then after each assignment, you then have to do an evaluation a reflective evaluation, which is basically tells the process of what you've done, how it's gone, what you would have changed, what did you think you did well, all of that kind of information, you have to reflect on the work that you have done. And that's a, a, a roundup of that assignment. Okay, so as I've explained, we don't just do that. That was a, just a fashion assignment, a 3D fashion assignment. Uh, we do absolutely lots of different variations. The courses are both the Foundation Art and Design and the Year Zero are not for the faint hearted. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be produced. You have to be prepared to work. Um, you were in college, you'd be in college for typically three, two and a half to three days per week. But we also expect you to do the same amount of time, if not a bit more, at home. So if you're looking for an easy ride, we're not an easy ride. If you're looking for somewhere that will get you the skills that you need quickly and effectively because of the staff that we've got working on it and how hard we work you, then please, please get in touch with me. You're more than welcome to email me. Um, directly, I'm sure that we'll be able to organise that, my email going out to, to anybody that's kind of watched. Um, but yeah, you can email me directly. Um, and then what I can do is I can get you in for informal chats before you even apply and show you around, show you different um, work that students have done and kind of give you more um, information on the courses available to you. So please don't be frightened to get in touch. That's what we're here for, yeah? Okay, I think I'm done. Is it, if there's any questions, I can answer some questions. Okay, so the course, it runs for three days, two and a half, to, um, sorry. So we've got two courses that we're talking about. They're both just over two and a half days. So it's three, three days. No, that sounds a bit crazy. Three days you're in. It is during the day, yeah. It's during the day. Um, the materials that we use, so what we do is we have we have the materials that you need in college, the basic materials. Um, however, you may choose to purchase different materials but the things that you need are actually in the college for you to use yeah okay so what did i use to um sarah sorry i keep forgetting to say the name so sarah asks what specific pencil did i use so we we provide graded pencils when you come here we give students grade a set of graded pencils um and what they are is they go from you might have heard of them People normally use a HB. You'll see HB pencils everywhere. Okay, and what we do is you have H pencils and you have B pencils. The B pencils are the softer pencils and the H are the harder pencils. So what I just used then was um, a 2B pencil. And what I teach my students is this, to be or not to be, that is the question. It's a Shakespeare reference, obviously. Um, and that makes students remember that a 2B pencil is the best all-rounder. 
pencil that you're going to use when you're um when you draw and that's why i promote the 2v pencil it's a nice soft pencil but it's not too soft so you can get hard lines with it too okay how would you apply sorry david david asked how would you apply color and tone okay so different different if i would kept it in black and white i'd have just used pencils again the whole range of b pencils the higher the b pencil so say you get your 5b 6b they're the softer and they're the darker pencils so if i was going to be applying tone to um the illustration earlier in, in i'd use pencil however if it was going to be for um a fashion illustration purpose because it was quite illustrative the uh, the the drawing that i did I would probably use pro markers because I, that would apply colour um, and tone at the at the same time. Um, and we do sessions on that as well, but they're really really effective. Charlotte, do you still have places available for this September? And how do I apply? Yes, Charlotte, we do. Uh, we do have places. However, I would say to you, get in touch as soon as possible. Um, you can apply via the college website. Um, and as I just said earlier, if you prefer to have an informal chat before application, you can also get in touch with me um, um, via email. My, um, I'll just give you my um, my email address. It's Donna dot right at hubert dot ac dot uk. Um, and I'm sure we'll be able to send that out to you. Um, but yeah, please feel free to directly contact me and um, I'll probably be able to answer all of the questions direct. But yeah, that, that's fine. We do have courses. Please apply as soon as so that you are um, so that you get get a place on the course. OK, no more questions. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for joining. And obviously, as I've said earlier, if you need to get in touch, please feel free. That's what we're here for. Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.